Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Test Insider. So today I'm going to talk about what do you mean by verification and validation and what is the difference between these two. So before I start V model, V model or V and V model, it's very important, very, very important to understand like what do you mean by verification and validation and what is the difference between them. So let's talk about like what do you mean by verification and validation today and uh, difference between them. And then probably next video, I'll talk about a V model so that you can understand better. So before I take you to my PPT, where we'll understand the, the proper definition and difference between these two, let me give you an example so that you can understand, you can relate better. Like what do you mean by verification and validation? So suppose you, you are buying any product from any e-commerce website. Take an example, uh, Amazon. So what you're gonna do first thing is, you open the either you open the browser or open the app and you will select your uh, uh, pro, uh, your product based on your need like suppose you want to buy a t-shirt so based on your size uh, the brand which you want to uh, from which you you want to buy you select that brand and then color you choose as per your uh, uh, choice and then uh, you do add to cart now you added the uh, product in the cart and from there before making the payment what you're gonna do is you'll verify all those things like uh, whether i have selected the proper size or not the color which i have uh, selected earlier it's fine or not and then address where it will be delivered the uh, where, where address is proper or not and the price also if you have any uh, kind of uh, coupon code or something you apply that also and verify the price at the end like how much charge it will uh, it is going to uh, cost you right i mean how much is the cost cost of the product with the delivery charge and everything and another thing is you will uh, 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 you will see the return policy as well so these are the different things you you verify before making the payment so these these are the things is nothing but a verification because you have uh, you did not get the product yet but you verifying all these things by just seeing the product so this is nothing but the verification now, once it is delivered to your address, what you're gonna do is you'll test that, right? And uh, uh, by wearing that uh, product, let's say T-shirt, so you'll verify like how, how is the size, uh, how is the how is the color looks like, and everything. So if it is not suitable for you, then you'll return it because earlier you have verified the return policy and all. So after getting the product, you'll do the actual testing of the product. So that is nothing but the validation. So this is the difference between verification and validation. So same thing happens in case of verification and validation in testing. So I'll take you to my PPT. I'll take you to my PPT where we'll understand like what is the, what do you mean by verification, the proper definition of verification and validation and difference between them. So let's get started. So guys, let's talk more about verification and validation. And at the beginning of this video, I have given a very good example of verification and validation so before getting the product whatever you do the investigation is nothing but the verification and once you get the product whatever you do uh, whatever you do the uh, investigation is nothing but the validation so same thing happens in software testing as well software testing verification and validation so before i start the v model it's very important to understand verification and validation so in coming days, I'll talk about uh, V model. So let's focus on verification and validation as of now. So here I have listed down the difference, the definition of verification and validation and difference between them. So verification is the process of checking the document like BRD, SRS, CRS, customer requirement specification, design, code and programs and uh, validation is testing and validation of actual product so if you see like v model we have one side this is nothing but the verification part and this is validation part so i don't want to talk more about the v model as of now but this part the left side part is called the verification and the right side is validation here is the the left side is also called sdlc it is the part of software development life cycle process and this is part of stlc testing life cycle so here in sdlc like we have uh, requirement gathering the design coding 
all these phases comes under SDLC. So verification is the process of checking the documents, different requirement documents, design, coding and programs is nothing but the verification. And actual testing, once we get the product, testing and validation of actual product is called validation. Now the proper definition like are we building the product right? That is the proper definition of verification. In another words, software meets the specification or not. Here we talk more about the specification of the product. Here we are checking whether we are developing right product or not. And if you talk about validation, are we building the right product or not? Software meets the requirements. Here we talk more about requirement or not. We check whether the developed module is right or not. So this is the difference like in terms of uh, definition and the second thing is third point is static testing this is comes under static testing and this is dynamic testing so in the next slide i'll talk more about like what are the different methods of uh, static testing and dynamic testing so these are the different methods guys inspection reviews and walkthroughs so these are the part of static testing Basically here we review the document, walk through, we go through documents, inspect, inspection, all these comes under static testing. And here in validation, we have unit integration system acceptance, all levels of testing. These are four levels of testing. Probably we'll discuss later on in detail, but just for your understanding, understanding like in validation, we follow all the levels of testing as well as all functional and non-functional testing in validation part and here QA comes under verification QC comes under validation so here you can see in V model we have this part as quality assurance and this part as quality control so in the next video I'll talk about uh, what, what do you mean by quality assurance and what do you mean by quality control so left side is called quality assurance right side is quality control and QA involved here like quality assurance analyst involved in verification part uh, so probably you have heard the CMMI, CMMI process so there are different CMMI process areas are there so based on the company's level like level 3 level 4 level 2 whatever level 5 so we have certain process areas so that is a different chapter guys probably will discuss later on only so based on the like uh, level of CMMI they follow the QA used to follow the process areas different process areas and they'll uh, prepare the documents they'll uh, track the uh, projects uh, progress and all metrics will be there so a lot of factors are there in QA uh, in QA's responsibilities and here tester involved with the help of QA so here the actual testing uh, process is done in validation so uh, of course testers are involved with the help of quality analyst seventh point is point is it comes first before validation so verification comes before validation so it comes later and it finds the bug early in the development life cycle and it finds the bugs that verification cannot catch so when we start the development process so whenever uh, uh, if any if you get any bug related to if requirement is not mismatching, I mean required is, uh, is ambiguous or uh, it is not matching as per the customer require uh, needs. So we can raise the defects bugs early in the development life cycle. Whereas uh, in once we get the product, we do the actual testing and there mostly like uh, functional and non-functional related defects will get. So this is the difference between verification and validation. So thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, share it and comment if you have any questions and uh, subscribe to, uh, to this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.